Hey everybody, I have a video here for you today. You know, I've been reading a few reports on a few different websites about uh, some news out of Egypt today. And I just chose this website. This is geekwire.com. This is an article written by Alan Boyle and it just came out a little while ago. But it's about the thermal scanning done at the Great Pyramids and I think I'll just read. It says, Egypt's Ministry of Antiquities says thermal scanning has turned up anomalies inside the pyramids of Giza, including a particularly impressive one on the eastern side of the biggest monument. The report comes just days after the ministry said a similar scan found temperature anomalies in King Tutankhamun's tomb hundreds of miles to the south. Empty space doesn't hold heat as well as rock or soil, so heat anomalies provide clues to structural features beneath or beyond the surface being scanned. They could point to hidden chambers or passages at the ancient sites. However, the anomalies could be due to less spectacular differences in structure or composition, for example, fractures in the underlying rock. When infrared cameras scanned the interior Tut's burial chamber in the Valley of the Kings near Luxor, the ministry said anomalies were found along the northern and western walls. That message meshes with other evidence suggesting that yet another burial chamber, perhaps that of Tut's mother, Nefertiti, lies beyond the walls. And I think that is entirely possible. I did a, a, a video on the Valley of the Kings a while ago. I'll leave the link for that below. But tomb looting was a problem from the get-go in ancient Egypt, and the clever, smart ancient Egyptians went to great lengths to conceal some of these tombs. So I think it's entirely possible that something does lie just beyond what we have already discovered, or what Howard Carter in 1922 discovered. Uh, at the Valley of the Kings, King uh, Tut's tomb. It says, Meanwhile, just outside Cairo, the International Scan Pyramids team took infrared readings of the Giza Pyramids' exteriors at sunrise when the morning sun was starting to heat up the monuments and at sunset when the pyramids were cooling down. The ministry said scientists found intriguing anomalies in the cycle of heating and cooling and singled out a temperature variation at the Great Pyramid of Khufu. And, of course, the Great Pyramid is associated to Khufu, just because uh, I believe he built some structures near the Great Pyramid. And there is one tiny piece of graffiti that has Khufu's name way up in a relieving chamber of the Great Pyramid. And this is the flimsy evidence that associates the Great Pyramid to Khufu. And, I, and he also buried his solar boat just outside the Great Pyramid. And I think that was just to link his legacy to the Great Pyramid, but I think the Great Pyramid was built maybe thousands of years before the time of Khufu in the Fourth Dynasty. It says, Aram Online quoted Egyptian Antiquities Minister Mamdu Aldamadi as saying that three of the limestone blocks in the first row of the Great Pyramid were different in formation and that a similar situation was found in the middle of the pyramid's eastern side. Additional ground scans suggested there is something like a small passage leading up to the pyramid ground, reaching an area with different temperature, he said. Aldamati said it was too early to determine the cause of the anomalies. It could be void spaces, fissures, or passages. So far, I don't know. He was quoted as saying. He called upon other Egyptologists to join the research effort. The Scan Pyramid Project is using thermal imagers as well as cosmic ray detectors, lasers, and drones to produce high-tech maps of Egypt's ancient sites. The pyramids were raised more than 4,500 years ago, while Tutankhamun's tomb was built about 3,300 years ago. And of course, that 4,500 years ago, that is all speculation. Egyptologists, their main goal is to associate every building in Egypt to Egyptian heritage. And uh, sometimes the truth gets blurred when they do this. Um, and I just think this is kind of a stupid in business sense too wouldn't it be a much greater thing for your country to associate uh, some of the buildings to the origin of all mankind not just your national heritage so uh, that part of it never really made sense to me i think when we are looking at human origins um, i think the giza pyramids is a good place to start I will leave a few links below in case you want some more information on the Great Pyramids, but I think this is a step in the right direction. Uh, when Zahi Awas was the Minister of the Antiquities Council, um, he really didn't believe in using high-tech equipment, and uh, news and uh, permission was very hard to come by as far as research in the Great Pyramid. 
but uh, maybe this is a step in the right direction. We're using some pretty high-tech uh, gadgetry here to investigate the Great Pyramid and what's inside of it. I think there could be other things to be discovered. I think this is a monument that uh, even if we were told how it was built, we might not get it. Um, the sophistication and mathematics put into this building did not come from the fourth dynasty of Egypt. Once again, I will leave some links below, but I think this is a step in the right direction. That is some, uh, you know, not very uh, detailed information, but uh, some anomalies were found and hopefully this will lead to maybe some new discoveries. I think it's entirely possible. I think any news coming out of the uh, Egypt and the Great Pyramid is fascinating. Hope you did too. You have a nice day.